what's up guys welcome back to the channel boozer here thanks for stopping by okay so we're today we're going to be jumping into this soulstone tournament so soulstone chase tournament so the only reason why i'm really interested in doing this soulstone chase tournament is because effectively at 545 points we get basically a sacred shard um, this prism crystal is basically a standard sacred shard that doesn't have any boosted rates or anything like that so it's a six percent chance at legendary the pool is very good so if you're interested in any of these eight champions you're basically looking at a one in eight chance or 12 and a half percent chance of pulling one of these desired legendaries uh, you could look at it like a 25x for one champion so for example in this pool i really want Firo, for example it's basically a 25x for Firo with each one of these prism crystals and if i told you that there was a sacred shard right here in a soul chase tournament for 545 and this was an ancient shard i'm pretty sure everyone would jump out of their chairs and try to get that ancient uh, that sacred shard because I'm pretty sure the Sacred Shard in the beginning of these types of tournaments was way up here. And this Prism Crystal uh, basically um, is replacing a Void Shard from their usual Champion Chase rewards. So this Prism Crystal I think is pretty good value if you can get it. However, 545 points is actually not super easy to get. It looks really low, but it's not actually that easy to get. Each one of these um, small Soul Stones gets you roughly five to six points it's actually not a lot and it really depends on how well you can get lucky if you can get lucky it becomes very easy but if you don't you're looking at an average of about five or six points each um, personally i think these chase events are going to be worn out uh, out of favor pretty soon uh, and more people will be going for the 2x boosted um, rate events with this boosted rates on the six star chances six star souls because um as we progress through the game as this system becomes older and older the one star souls for this game are going to be less and less effective less and less sought after because we would have already surpassed the one and two stars um in the begin uh, very early on especially for champions that we want to invest in so at that point, we're looking for the expensive ones like the 5 and 6 star. Therefore, the 2x boosted rates uh, events will be way more important for people. However, I do really want that Prism Crystal. I really do want Firo. A second Michinaki would be really nice as well. So there's a couple champions in the pool that I would be pretty happy with. So I'm probably going to go for it here. I do have enough resources, I think, to be able to get 545. So I won't go out empty-handed. So that's also something to keep in mind. But yeah, let's start it off with a couple of these low-end pulls and then we'll see how lucky we can get. I'm on my alt first and then we'll do the main account right after. All right, so let's do it. Do uh, four singles and then we'll do four ten pops. You see there, like, it's just going to be like, you need to get a little bit lucky. You need to get a little bit lucky on these pulls. But this chase event is good for um, these small stones because the small stones, you know, have the have the chance to get lucky. The variance on them is quite high, so. All right, so we got four 10 pops. Let's go. Come on. I need 545. Okay, okay, legendary is good to see. One star. One star is pretty weak. It's weak for points too. 51. So this is roughly the average outcome. 51, five points each, roughly the average outcome. Let's check my wish list again. Uh yeah, that seems pretty good. This account got super lucky. It pulled it pulled a five-star Varro and it pulled a five-star Eostrid during the last 2x boosted event really really lucky way luckier than my uh my main account my main account was struggling was struggling for pulls on the on the 2x soul stone event but this account got super lucky with those big um useful big useful ones five star epic i mean we got super lucky here um very high roll on this so we're getting a little bit closer to that 545 but still not even halfway there 
This is our 30, 30 stone pull here. We need to replicate that luck again. Can we get like a five star? <laughs> 31. So yeah, that's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. All right, let's keep going. Come on. Give me something here. Something. Okay. Pretty low. Four star rare, three star epic. All right. 72, five star rare at the end. At least we got 72 here. Let's see how close we are. I think we're definitely going to need to be digging, digging into our uh, resources here a little bit uh, just to try and get this prism. I think we're pretty close. We might be able to do it with 10 more. Um, I don't know if this is not sure if that's fully updated. That's the problem here. All right. I think it is fully updated. So 342. So it definitely looks like we need to pick up some more of these. All right. So we need 200 points roughly. Come on. 200. Let's go. Three star. Okay. Legendary. Soulless. One star. Need some higher values here. Three star rare. 45. Yeah, that's pretty rough. We got 160 to go. Need to make some space first. Uh, let's go and let's get rid of some of the one stars. All right. Come on. About 160 points to go. We get lucky here. This is our 60th pull, I think. 60, 60 something pulls. Come on. With your one star is not good enough. Four star rare. How many points is this? 47. So still need about 120 to go. Gonna make some more space too. No, we're out. We're out of uh, these guys. Okay, let's do singles. 140. Yeah, you guys see it can be pretty painful here. Can be pretty painful. But like I said, each stone is roughly about five or six points each. So definitely have enough um like be prepared to uh go to distance basically so you don't come out empty-handed always how, that's always how you should be approaching these kind of events especially if you're targeting a, a certain reward um so yeah we're about 70 deep and we're just about 100 points shy which is a little bit unfortunate actually that means we have to dig into some medium ones. Hoping this would be just a lucky big epic, but. All right. All right. So this account gets really lucky in the last 2x Soulstone event. And this event, probably not so lucky. One star perfect long beard. All right. Uh, let me double check the points here one more time. All right. About 100 points off. Oh, my Lord. All right, let's pull the medium ones. Let's hope we get lucky so we don't have to keep buying these medium ones. Mm, rare. Three points. So that's the low on these medium ones. It's really painful. I'm going to buy 22, but I definitely don't want to buy 22. Go one at a time here. Need about 100 points. Epic. We need a five star and we're done. Three star. Definitely not worth it. Luckily, we have a lot of these resources, so it's not the end of the world, but like, yeah, these are looking not worth it here. Restart again. Come on. Five star. Restart again. So we're about like 60 points away. rare oh lord four st four star rare for six points guys <laughs> so painful it's so painful how many of these medium guys did we go through so painful all 
All right, we're done. Look at this. Look at this. Larium had to juice me for five of these medium ones before they give me the five star epic. Absolutely nothing of value from this entire pull session. I pulled probably like 70, 70 small ones. And then like five or six big, uh, five or six, I think six of these medium ones just to hit the 545. So definitely got hosed in terms of like averages, super hosed on the average. So not feeling too good about that, but luckily we have plenty of resources on this alt account. But yeah, it feels pretty bad. We'll do the uh, prism pulls um, at the end of the week when the champion chase, we assume it's going to be a champion chase. When the champion chase is on, then we'll pull the, the prism crystals then so we'll save it for those uh, but let's hop on the main account and hopefully our luck improves over there all right guys so on to the main account here this is the um we're going to do the same strategy we're looking for 545 points we can see from the uh previous uh, previous account we got kind of destroyed in terms of rng cost us about 70 small ones and about six of the middle ones so really really expensive uh prism crystal there um, yeah, so that's that uh, definitely doesn't feel good. Probably paying some taxes for the good luck that we had in the previous 2x event, of course. Um, but hopefully, we can get lucky here on this main account 544. Looking for something. I mean, if it's not going to give me anything useful, just make it you know, make it not useful, but make it high value. How about that? Two star cold heart. What's my wish list? Yes, that is a good wish list. Let's go. Come on. Come on. End it early. How about we get lucky? Something something big and juicy. Nope. How about some all rares for you? Oh god. <laughs> okay. Don't even that, that was probably like a 20 point pull there. Come on. Yep, it's going to be, I mean, these are kind of reality pulls, right? Like I said, each one of these uh, stones is worth roughly about 5 points. So if you're looking for, yeah, I guess 500 points, then you're looking at about 100 of these small stones. So it's about right. All right, all right, all right. Last 10 pop, and then we got reload. Restart husk. Fortis. I think I have Fortis on this account. One star Trunda. I guess for my second Trunda. <laughs> Constantine. Alright, I guess this is maybe the highest value pull that I had. I don't know. So 36, 49, 90. 36, 49, 90. So we're at less than 200. We gotta get some more space. So space here luckily we can buy actually I think Nia might be new I think we got some here nice okay do we have enough space nice okay come on come on some big value epics or something <laughs> Okay, legendary. What do we get? Hey, two star Varl. Okay, that's something. And a five star epic. Wow, six star. Whoa, this is pretty close. That's a big jump. The Varl is very good. That's huge, actually. That's massive. Uh, yeah. I mean, we actually got an upgrade for something. And I think ten more. I think we're pretty close now, within a hundred points. And get lucky. Mail. Two star Supreme Aethel. This account definitely way more luckier than the alt account in terms of yeah, in terms of value. We pulled 60 and I think we overshot it. So we pulled 60 and I think we overshot it by quite a bit, I think. No, we're not there yet. Dang. We might be just there, I think. 530, yeah. So we're just there, so we're very, very close. Let's do Guess we can do one at a time. 15 points. And actually some decent uh decent souls actually, so happy to see that. Hopefully we get 15 points in these 
upcoming uh, singles here and not just one star rares. Okay, we probably got it with this one. Wow, Wix. <laughs> hey, that is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet, actually. Uh, I didn't do the four star Wixwell uh, event. I got a three star out of him. But I didn't finish the four star. So four star is an upgrade for me. And uh, that's going to be the Soulstone event completed. Dusted and done. Definitely a lot cheaper than the alt account. So there we go. Finished. Are we in the top 10? Can we get some easy rewards? We are top 10 right now. But probably going to fall off at some point. But sweet. We actually got some decent stuff. So Wixwell got the four and three star, so we can just go straight to the four star here. I mean, four star is not a huge impact for Wixwell, but it does give him, you know, one extra star, some extra crit damage. Varl with the two star, very nice, gets the plus attack here. Super, super nice. That's actually a huge boost. What else? Three star Husk actually did get something here. So three star Husk. That's kind of cool. Get some extra defense, keep him alive. What else do we get? Shemale, two-star Shemale. Got a little bit of extra attack. I got some pretty low blessings on some of my some of my guys. Not gonna lie. I haven't been working on a lot of the uh, non-arena focus guys, so nice to see that we actually got some of the uh, some upgrades there. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys got some better luck on these. I've seen some people get some insane luck and pull really really high value souls right away but obviously these are kind of more like average ish luck like uh, the alt account pulled 70 plus six middle stones to get the 545 and then the main account did it in about 60 um 60 i think is a bit of a high roll so definitely um got a little bit lucky on the main account and got some upgrades along the way which is really really nice so Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys got something cool or you guys got super lucky on this. This is definitely a very high variance event. If you guys want to sit this out or if you guys don't have the resources to get the Prism Crystal, definitely sit this out. Wait for a 2x boosted event and then capitalize on some big souls there, hopefully. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.